I just checked out what might be a huge announcement at the end of this video. I'm probably most excited for this one, honestly. Good morning, party people. Today's the first day of Lego Store's double VIP points. So you know, of course, we're gonna go shopping. We were just at the Lego Store on June 1st because so many new Lego sets came out. It was honestly pretty overwhelming. And I wasn't expecting to buy this set. I really wasn't, but I did. The Ninjago City Markets. This set just caught my eye and I was kind of nervous about whether or not it would still be in stock once double points came around. So I picked up this bad boy and I'm so excited to build. I know it might not look like it because I haven't built it yet, but I'm getting to it. So this giant lovely set was our only purchase on June 1st, even though we wanted a bunch of other stuff because we wanted to take full advantage of double points. Just a little recap real quick for anyone who's like not super familiar with double points and what that means. If you're not signed up already, sign up for Lego's VIP program because there's a lot of perks to it. And every time you check out from the Lego store as a VIP, you get essentially 5% back. But during double points, you get 10% back. And Lego's expensive. We're really trying to be better with our money this year, which is why even though there's so many new sets on the shelves, we tried our best to be patient for today. Speaking of saving money, I don't have a huge list of sets that I'm after today. I definitely want that giant buildable minifigure. I just think that's so cool. Obviously, I'm into that. I'm hoping to maybe transform it into Ross, but we'll see how that goes. I also want the big poop set. I don't know what it is about it, and I don't even know the name of it, but it just has a giant pile of poo, and I think that's funny. I want it, and so I will buy it. <laughs> and then Ross also wants a Minecraft set. I believe a cow is involved in some capacity. So it's a decent list of sets, but it's also a pretty short list knowing us, but I still have a lot to do before I go. I need to have breakfast. I need to grab Ross. I need to get dressed. Speaking of Ross, we've actually been having some issues in the morning recently. For breakfast, normally I like sweeter things like cereal, cinnamon rolls. He needs savory. Like whenever he has sugary things in the morning, he feels really sick. It's kind of weird. I don't really get it. But thanks to the sponsor of this video, Magic Spoon, Ross and I are finally able to have cereal together in the morning and he doesn't feel like, you know, Sick. Magic Spoon is cereal that tastes like all of that childhood nostalgia. Like I grew up on all the sugary cereals. Oh no, I ran out. Ross often calls me a sugar goblin because I love sweets. I love snacking on sweets. It's not my proudest moment, but it's who I am. Mm. But that's one of the main reasons why I love eating Magic Spoon. It tastes sweet and also somehow identical to some of my childhood favorites, but there's zero grams of sugar. There's a lot of protein. It doesn't make Ross feel sick and I don't get a sugar crash afterwards. I was actually really surprised at how many different Different flavors they have of Magic Spoon. My favorites are either chocolate or frosted. I think this one's actually Ross's favorite too. The fruity one tastes more like a kitty cereal, so whenever I'm in the mood for that, that one's really yummy. Click the link below to grab a variety pack and try it today. And be sure to use the promo code Emmasaurus at checkout to get $5 off any order. Or go to magicspoon.com slash Emmasaurus. And Magic Spoon is so confident in their product, it's backed with a 100% happiness guarantee. So if you don't like it for any reason, they'll refund your money, no questions asked. So click that link below and use code Emmasaurus for $5 off or go to magicspoon.com slash Emmasaurus to save $5 today. So now I need to finish up eating, grab Ross, and I think it's time to go to the Lego store. I want... Oh, hey again. Did that look cool? I feel like it didn't, but I had that shot in my head for the last 30 minutes. I just got to the mall, which is where the Lego store is. And you might actually notice that my husband Ross is not with me. There's a reason for that. He might've gotten a little bit busy with something, which leads us to what might be a huge announcement at the end of this video. So make sure to stick around. I might've been keeping this secret from you guys for like three months now, but I promise it's worth it. And I can't wait to tell you. But anyways, it's a lot later than I thought it would be when I get here. It's like 1230. I wanted to be here at like a 11. I'm a little late. That's okay, but I need to stop dilly dallying. So let's head inside. Oh wait, remember to hydrate. Nom nom nom. When did it get so hot in Texas? It's got to be like a hundred degrees right now. I realized once I got into the car that I forgot which Minecraft sets Ross actually wanted and I just don't really understand Minecraft at all. So I had him text me a list. He wants something called a mushroom. I think it's like the red cow with mushrooms on its back. Cookie stop as always. As well as the panda set, which to be fair, that one is really cute. And again, I don't have a huge list of stuff that I want to get from the Lego store, but I do want to take advantage of double points, which also applies to Pab. 
job. And especially with me finally making progress on Uptown Ladybird, I want to see what pieces I could use for that. I've been having a ton of fun working on Uptown Ladybird, so definitely stay tuned for a LEGO City update pretty soon. I think that'll actually be the first update on it, so make sure to check it out. Oh wow, you guys, so I just got to the LEGO store and check it out! Oh my goodness, they have Ninjago City Markets here and it's built. I have not even cracked it open. I bought it on June 1st and have not touched it since, but I wanted to make sure I grabbed the copy. I was really worried that they would run out of stock on June 1st and it wouldn't be around for double points. I'm kind of nervous to see if they have it. It would be just my luck if they do. But something I didn't see on June 1st is the Bat Cave. This thing is massive. I actually had no idea how big it was. Like, it's what, four feet across or something? That's absolutely insane. I am not at all a Batman fan or really into DC at all. Definitely more of a Marvel person. And so I have no intention of ever buying this, but it does look so cool. Anyways, let's head inside. It's actually pretty wild seeing it, but every time I'm at the Lego store, their black box icons collection just grows bigger and bigger. And I think it looks really cool seeing all the sets with the black boxes because you see better like what the sets actually are. But I still really miss like the more patterned box art. Like, can you imagine how pretty this would have been with like a forest scene behind it? Same with the lighthouse, like a big ocean that would look so pretty. But looking down just here, I'm so happy they have this in stock. I was kind of worried that they would run out. So this is the new upscaled Lego minifigure. It's $50 and I am so excited to finally pick this one up. I feel like I can make this into Ross somehow maybe. Like when you flip it around, you can kind of see the hat looks somewhat like a baseball cap, except kind of wonky. It would be kind of cool to put like Dog Mom on there or something, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what we can do with it. But yeah, definitely picking this one up today. I'm probably most excited for this one, honestly. Oh wait, and this is kind of neat too. So they have a little gift with purchase here. Purchases over 50 or more, and it's a summer fun VIP add-on pack. It looks like just a lot of summery items, some pizza, coral, a bunny. It looks really cute. So I'm excited to pick that one up as well. I'm definitely spending more than 50 today, <laughs> obviously. Okay, so this is really disappointing, except it's, it's really not that big of a deal, but they do have the Ninjago City Markets in stock during double VIP. I kind of wish I had waited. I would have saved a little bit of money or rather like gotten more money back, but... I don't know. I'm happy to have this set. I'm just kind of shocked they still have a bunch of them in stock though. Or at least one. I see one here. Something we really want to do with the LEGO City is have some sort of monorail type car system. Like, I don't know. This really reminds me of Disneyland and something kind of magical like that. So I want to have this going through Uptown Ladyburg. I'm not sure how to build it, but I think it'll be fun. And then looking over to Jurassic Park, I am so excited. They made some Jurassic Park sets. Like I just haven't really seen anything like this in a while. I know they've done Jurassic World, but Jurassic Park is what I grew up with. And this guy, I remember him being just like a total meanie but this set looks really cool with the jeep as well but then the one that i'm really here for is the triceratops research set and i like this one because i like the minifigures oh god <laughs> oops i almost dropped it there i like the minifigures and the triceratops but then if you look over here it's the giant pile of poop from the movie. And I just think that's hilarious to have like such a giant pile in a Lego set. So I'm definitely buying this today as well. But then y'all know I can't come here and not look at the Disney stuff. So we were looking at this one earlier. I do have this one at home already and I can't wait to build it. I call it the princess battle pack because obviously there's so many princesses and they're not fighting but it's still a battle pack I don't know just go with it it really reminds me of like a Lego elves set and I loved that theme so I really can't wait to build this one I'm not sure what I'll do with it when it's finished I have no idea but I think it looks really pretty honestly just all of the Disney 100 stuff is so fun like the villains one I haven't actually finished building it yet but I did get through about half and I just love the fact that we get so many new minifigures in this especially Gaston but Where's Belle? Where's our Belle minifig? I don't know. Oh gosh, and then the Little Mermaid set too. Y'all, I loved this movie so much. I saw it once, I'm gonna go back and see it again. And I remember initially I was talking about this set not being that great. It looked kind of weird on the box, but in person, it looks incredible. Like it's probably one of my favorite sets this year. It's really pretty. And same with Lego Friends. They've been really stepping it up lately. This set here was so fun to build. And look at that, we get like pink masonry bricks. This is a giant printed piece. And there's just so many fun details inside. There's like some really cool technical furniture builds, which I wasn't expecting. And something really cool about this set is that if you get that one as well, you can actually stack these on top of that. There is a pretty big issue with it though. So this one here has 1,500 pieces for $140. 
Whereas this community kitchen has 700 pieces for about $70. And so for half the price, you only get one story. Whereas this one, you get what, four stories of building? It just seems a little off to me. I was thinking about buying another one of this as well as that one to make like another tower or like mod them together in some way. But I think I'm gonna hold off because that one's a little pricey. Oh gosh, and then something actually about the Pac-Man set here. I really like it. I'm about halfway through building it and it's been so much fun already. But I saw something that Holly on Film posted about trying to make this into like a Wreck-It Ralph kind of build, like re-theming it. And I love that idea. I think that'll look so cool when it's done. I don't know if I'll do that to mine, but I can't wait to see hers. But now let's take a look at the pick a brick wall. I already see some people Pieces that I could really use, especially for this road kind of thing, I'm doing an Uptown Ladybird. I need more jumper pieces. I have a bunch of two by two plain tiles, but I need a bunch of these. So I'll probably fill up at least half a cup. And then actually these nougaty pieces are really handy and I've come around to just loving this color. So I might pick up, I don't know, maybe another half cup of these or maybe a full cup. I'm not really sure how many I can fit into a cup, but I just feel like using this as like a pathway in Uptown Ladybird would look really cool. More of like a gravelly cobblestone kind of thing going on. I really like those. Oh wow, and then these down here kind of remind me of an idea I had in Ladybird. So these are obviously spider webs. And initially, because it's kind of dog themed, I thought it'd be kind of fun to have like bones as like the railways through Uptown Ladybird, but Ross told me it would be a little creepy. However, I think using these as railways around Halloween could be really cool. Imagine using them as a fence of some sort. I don't know, I'm gonna play around with that. But I think those are the only pieces I need, so I think it's time to fill up a cup. Okay, actually, after looking at pieces a little bit more, I might do something a little crazy. Do you see these teal arches? How neat would it be to use them as the bridge in Ladyburg since it is a more colorful city? I actually have a bunch of these gray ones and I was planning on using those for a bridge, but I mean, blue is so much cooler, it's more fun. So I might grab a few and just see what I can do with them. And if it just looks stupid, then I will go back to using gray. And purely because I just have no idea what I'm doing, I might grab some of these as well, cause I don't know, it's the same color as those. I'll see what I can do with it. Boop, boop. Here's my haul so far. Now let's go check out Minecraft. Oh wow, I always forget how small their Minecraft selection is here. So he said panda. I think I'll grab the panda for him. And he also said a mushroom, which I don't see here. I also don't know what I'm looking for, but I'm pretty sure it's not here. Oh well. Wait, okay, back to the pad wall. I just found out that they have some of these pieces as well. They're like these little, oh, I don't know, folding over to side snotty kind of things. I think that's the official name. So I went ahead and grabbed some of those as well. All right, I just checked out. I feel really good with today's haul. I didn't go overboard. I wasn't expecting to, and I went in there knowing exactly what I wanted to buy. And I did, minus the moose room, but I still don't like really understand that. There's also a few little surprises in here. So you know we're gonna do a car haul. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so awkward. I got to my car and I was gonna film a car haul. And then I realized this car right there, that one, there was someone in there and they could see me and I felt really awkward. I don't know why I'm buckled up. I need full mobility <laughs> for our car haul. Oh my goodness, it's hot. Whew. Oh wow. <laughs> There's so many people here. This is what I get for coming here on a Friday at noon. Are y'all ready for a car haul? Car haul. <laughs> Wait, I don't know how to do this without Ross. Car haul. Car haul. Okay, good, good. I like the energy. I'm feeling it. So we got this VIP parts pack. There's some really cool pieces in there. Lots of little leafy guys. Surfing. There's a crab. There's a lot of fun stuff. So I'm excited to open up and see everything we got going on here. That was a little gift with purchase for spending too much money. Next, let's do the cuppies. I don't know why I said that. I've never said that before. <laughs> this one here, I actually had it initially filled with these, what, tan jumper pieces, but then I poured some of them back into the giant bin the pad wall and I filled up a little bit with these teal pieces because I think that could work well with our bridge in Uptown Ladyburg that I'm still not exactly sure if it'll work but you know what I'm gonna try it I'm doing my best trying to be creative our next cuppy here we have the whole bottom part filled with these like nougaty plates and then on the top I got these teal pieces for the bridge that I don't know if it'll happen or not I'm not exactly sure what to do with it or how to build it I have no idea what I'm doing <laughs> <laughs> but we're gonna do our best and just see what we do with it. I don't know, I think it'll look cool. And if it doesn't, then I'll just stop and I won't do that anymore. The next one I got is the giant poop. I got the Triceratops research set. I love the little Jeep here. I like the dino, I like her, I like him, and I like the poop. And actually, so I've been doing this series on TikTok where it's like showing weird things in my city and someone asked if I have a giant poop in my city. So you know what we're gonna do when we get home. We're gonna add a giant poop to the city. Next, we got Ross, a panda. I think it's cute. I think it's a really cute set. I'm excited to see what he has 
planned for this because I have no idea what he's ever doing at any point. He's just doing Minecraft stuff and I support it. <laughs> and then finally, we have our giant minifigure that I want to see if we can make into Ross because that's kind of what he looks like, you know pretty accurate maybe without the beard there's you know we'll have to figure out a beard dog mom but that's him so we'll see what we can do with it either way i am excited to build it and it's cute that it comes with like the little baby minifigure little baby big minifigure i'm excited so there we go there's our car haul i feel really good with everything i got and we are really trying to be better with our money this year and not overspending double points is always a really good excuse to go to the lego store to get those things that were like on your list but you were just kind of waiting on for a little bit or if there's a good gift with purchase y'all know we love a g-wop but anyways i think i might have said something earlier in this video about an announcement i feel so bad for not telling you guys this earlier but you know what we weren't ready we were trying to figure things out on our end but we're ready to tell you, so a little drum roll. I am so excited to finally tell you guys that Ross has quit his job and he is doing full-time content with me. So that's why you've seen a little bit more of Ross's content, his own channels, him being in my videos a little bit more. He's no longer doing computer science-y stuff. He is now full-time Lego content creator. I've been wanting to scale up Emma Source for a while and we just got to a point where we were like, you know what, why don't we do this together? This is something that he'd been wanting to do since he was a kid. And especially with all the recent growth on Emma Source, we just really wanted to take this next step and just jump all in and just do this together. So it's a little scary, a little nerve wracking. That's part of the reason why we are kind of like you know cutting back on uh spending but i'm just really looking forward to seeing what he's able to do in content you know with his own channels and also he's been able to help me out a lot more with my content so that that frees up some of my time to do other things as well i feel a little bad for not telling you guys sooner but i promise it was worth it we wanted to make sure we were in the right spot before like fully announcing anything but yeah anyways that being said i know there are some major ross fans out there dog mom fans where are you at ross actually has two channels and you can find both of those down in the description below. The channel Mr. Source is like the extension to Emma Source, where it's more like behind the scenes Emma Source stuff or like similar content, but like from his point of view. Also a lot more sit down land reviews because y'all know I, I don't like doing reviews. I don't like that. So I'm glad that we finally have a spot where those can live. But then his second channel, Anti Stud, is gonna be more, mm, where's a car? Hey, scary. <laughs> but yeah, his second channel, Anti Stud, is going to be more Minecraft kind of content where it's more creative, more fast paced, like literally whatever he wants to put on there, go for it. So I'm excited to see what he comes up with. I have no idea what his videos are going to look like. So I'm definitely looking forward to seeing all of that. I don't know, y'all. I just really appreciate you guys for being here. Like truly, you guys have made this possible for us to both be full time content creators now. Like that's absolutely incredible. And we really couldn't do it <laughs> without you. So truly, thank you. So yeah, that's our announcement. Ross is gonna be a full-time content creator with me and I'm just looking forward to all of it. Truly, like, I just can't wait to see where the year takes us, where content takes us. It'll be awesome. And so yeah, long story short, from when we first got to the mall, why isn't Ross here? Ross is working on his videos, which I can't wait to see. Make sure to subscribe to all of Ross's channels down below. It would really help him out. Thank you everyone so much for watching. Bye!